In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know about setting up and using timers in ProPresenter. Timers are incredibly useful for countdowns before services, keeping track of speaking time, or managing event schedules. ProPresenter allows you to create various types of timers that can be displayed on your audience screens, stage screens, or both. The benefit of creating timers directly in ProPresenter is that you maintain complete control over the duration, placement, and styling, allowing you to customize them exactly how you need. Let's start by accessing the Timers feature in ProPresenter. Click on the Timers button in the Show Controls. It's the clock icon in the middle section of the toolbar. Alternatively, you can access timers from the View menu. On Mac, you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-C, and on Windows, Ctrl-Shift-C. When you open the Timers panel, you'll see a window that displays any existing timers, or it might be empty if you haven't created one yet. To create a new timer, click the plus button in the upper right corner of the Timers panel. By default, this adds a traditional countdown timer. Give your timer a name by typing in the text field where it says Timer. ProPresenter offers three different timer types to suit your specific needs. A countdown timer runs from a specified duration down to zero, though it can overrun. To set one up, select Countdown Timer from the Type dropdown. Enter the duration using the format Hours, Minutes, Seconds. For example, for a five minute countdown, Enter 5 in the middle segment, which will display as 0005000. The next is Countdown to Time. This option counts down to a specific time of day. You can use a Countdown to Time timer to count down until your 9 a.m. service, for example. Once you select Countdown to Time from the Type dropdown, enter the target time in the Time field. And this can be done using AM, PM, or a 24-hour format. Finally, we have Elapsed Time. This functions like a stopwatch, counting up from zero. Select elapsed time from the type dropdown. You can set a start time, which defaults to zero. Optionally, you can set an end time when the timer should stop or leave it as no limit to let it run indefinitely. All timer types include an allows overrun option. When enabled for countdown timers, they'll continue counting into negative numbers after reaching zero. For elapsed time timers with an end time set, Enabling overrun allows the timer to continue running past that point. The overrun state can trigger visual changes in your timer's appearance when used with color triggers in both the slide and stage editor. Each timer has several control options. The reset button returns the timer to its starting state. The start stop button toggles between starting and stopping the timer. The collapse expand arrow opens to show general information about the settings for that timer or minimizes the timer to show only essential information. Also, there's no limit to how many timers you can create. Simply click the plus button again to add more timers with different configurations. That being said, remember that creating a timer is just the first step. To display it on your screens, you'll need to assign the timer to a text box in your slide, theme, or stage layout. Let's add a segment timer to a stage display as an example. First, go to Screens, Edit Layouts in the menu bar. Then, click the plus button next to the thumbnail to add a new blank layout. In the editor, add a text box and place it in the center of the canvas. Select the text box, then go to the text tab on the right and click Linked Text. From the dropdown, select Timer, then the specific timer you'd like to use. In this case, we'll do an elapsed timer set to three minutes that allows overrun. While we're here, let's also add a color trigger so it turns red when you go over. Hit the plus sign next to color trigger then set the color to red when it reaches three minutes. Now, exit the editor and set your stage display to the new layout. Start the timer under show controls and you should see the timer start on your stage display, then turn red when the segment reaches three minutes. That wraps up our introduction to timers in ProPresenter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.